everybody welcome back to the studio doing something different today but I wanted to show you I've been entrusted with this gorgeous box it is so old and, and I don't know how old it is but it's a look at this it's a box so you store things in there and you will see exactly what in a second some of you may already guess what it is but look at that isn't that wonderful how you know things were made long long time ago they were made to last that's for sure so but what happened is so it's obviously a chessboard and little chess pieces go inside the box okay so what happened was um these that the the varnish started to kind of peel off in some areas so what I started doing was first I prepped my my little tool here which is just a, a, a wooden knife um, I could have even used uh, one of these doesn't really matter so what I did was I went and sharpened it to make it nice and pointy I, did, I could have used a palette knife or anything but I didn't want to scratch and damage the, the timber. I'm being very, very careful with this one. So what I did was I just went around and loosened this up a little bit and then I let it sit for a bit because, you know, the air and humidity goes underneath it and it, it sort of starts to lift all by itself. It just makes it easier than doing, chipping it off bit by bit. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna go around and pop these off. At first I thought it was resin but um, it's, um, oh, see how that pops? I'm pretty sure it's just varnish and really, really well done. So anyway, they used to do things so much better back in the day. So I'm just gonna keep on going like this and, and then come back when all of this is out see see what I mean okay, I really have to sort of dig in a little bit extra in there so if I used any metal kind of implement that would it would damage that and I don't want to do it because it's lasted for so long and one little mistake and it's all gone so I'll play with that slowly and gently see how that's just very gently lifting And then, then I'll come back, see? Look at that. Beautiful. You don't have to force anything. Same goes in life. Don't force anything. It doesn't, doesn't work. All right, so I'll be back when it's all off. I forgot to tell you, I'm wearing gloves as well. <laughs> because I don't want to, um, any of the oils or you know any impurities on my hands maybe even though I wash my hands I don't want that to go on on this timber because it will affect resin so that's why I'm wearing gloves okay so most of the, the varnish is off I've got a few little stubborn areas that I decided I, I have to use my my metal um, palette here, palette knife, and I'm being very careful with it. But this is pretty tough. These old timers are so tough, you know. So what I do is I don't go in like that. I just put my finger underneath there and just kind of give it a little bit. And I'm helping not to sort of push too hard. Just I just need to sort of uh, release that and let the air come in and see that that's that's brilliant because my little wooden knife um, kept breaking so it's not hard enough for this sort of thing but uh, now this is going good it's not hurting anything and I always I always think these things through you know you just have to see that as soon as you start a little bit I can go in with my knife now and that'll or maybe not, not enough. Okay, let's go again. 
try that way. See, these are only little bits, but I have to take it all off. It's pretty stuck on there, but if I don't take it off and put resin on it, I'm worried about it chipping from the side. Resin would cover it all, but I can't leave it like that. I've got to take it all off. And then give it a really good clean. I don't even see where I'm at. I'm here. Look at that. See that crackling? <laughs> There's stuff everywhere. It's flying. Okay. So this is the bit that's, you know, time consuming. But you just got to do it and you got to do it properly. But look at that. You can tell that this is old. Look at the workmanship on there. Gosh, it's, it's amazing. Oh, yeah, come on, give me a big piece. Give me a big piece. Look at that. A bit bigger than the last. Now, I was thinking about taking the top off, which is what I would do with a, any other normal piece, like more modern piece, but look how little these screws are. I really don't want to screw it up. <laughs> Get it? Um... So now I will leave it as is, and but I will pop a piece of um, plastic inside there to protect it and uh, tape the sides as well as um, use the masking liquid for extra protection. It all comes off real easy after, so it's better to be prepared. I always go through um, scenarios in my head. You know what could happen and then um, if it doesn't happen great if it does happen you know what to do because you're prepared for it so and you prepare for it so you don't that sound that you're hearing that's not the timber that's the actual um, varnish oh there it is all right so I'm gonna go around and I'll bore you too much and um, take the rest of this off okay wow what a challenge <laughs> everything kind of came off except for here this has been a real challenge to take off but I have to take it all off and I think because I think this side was handled more so it, it affected the, the the varnish there and this side hasn't been touched as much so but anyway I've got a nail file here only because I can control it better uh, than any old um, sandpaper or another file. So I'm just making sure that I'm just taking off the actual varnish off there. I'm not really touching the wood, but once this is nice and thin, I'll be able to chip it, lo chip it off. So I can see exactly, you probably can't see up there, but I can see exactly what I'm doing. I just want to make sure that I don't wreck it, you know. And after all of this, if I ruin it with resin, I would be very disappointed in myself, I tell you that. Okay, so you can see that line there, that's where that's, oh, that's... My file breaking. Yeah, so that's where that varnish starts. Okay. Let's see if I can gently. I've got to go that way so I can see better. Yeah. Is it? Okay, there's one piece there. Let's see if that will pop off now. Tell you what, it's very tough. Very tough. So I'm just going to go around very gently. I can see how far I can go with it and not get to the wood. Oh wow, look at that. Cool. 
I knew that was going to work. This means a little bit extra. And just around the edge there, the edge is pretty cool. Okay, so I can see there's some more there. Alright, I'm going to keep fiddling with it. And I'll be back. So that is done. So now I'm just going to go around and just catch these bits on the edges. I'm not going to worry. Oh, I missed it. Oh, that's off now. <laughs> um, I missed a couple of spots, which are not all oh, that's come off. That's great. Um, resin's going to cover all of this and it's I'm going to allow it to relax over the edges and not fall down. Just relax over a little bit and if I have to deal with it after, I will, but just making sure the edges are nice and smooth and there's nothing there. And now I'm going to clean up and prepare everything and be back. Okay, so I've decided to go over the whole thing because I can sort of feel under my gloves here some bits that I've missed because it's hard to see it's the same color as the timber so I've decided to go with a really really super fine sandpaper and just um, feel around if there's any bits that I haven't uh, picked up so it seems to be all good I've noticed, but I've noticed this the other day when I was um, peeling um, the varnish off here that there are some scratches underneath and that you can actually see it on the bottom of, which one was it? There was one. Where is this one? See? There's the pattern of that and there's some marks underneath. So, yeah, picked up on the varnish. So that wasn't for me, it was already there, but I, I want to try and smooth it down because I don't know how it's going to react to resin. And I'm trying to, oh look at these inlays, how pretty is that? Anyway, I've got my, I'm going to get a, a dry, a dry, a clean alcohol wipe here and just clean up everything alcohol will evaporate so it won't give me any grief when applying resin so we'll give that another let it dry and then I'm going to give it another wipe over just so that it's nice and clean and then I, I'm going to clean everything and be back. Okay, all cleaned up and tidied up. Now I've got my uh, masking liquid. Which I'm going to go around just with my finger. And you could use a brush, but I'm, I don't want to have to wash my brush. <laughs> this will come off real easy, but the tape is going to be applied as well on top of this so I'm just going to go real quick around liquid latex works perfect as well and it's not going to damage anything so that's a good thing now I'm going to go over here all the way around and then wipe that how did I manage to get it up here I'd like to know anywho these things happen so I keep going around 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 until the whole thing is covered now I'm going to wait for it to dry which will only take a couple of minutes ah don't do that forgot this thing moves Okay. Be 
Beautiful. So that's nice and thick. I can leave it down now, clean my hand. What I will do is what I said I was going to do is pop a little bit of plastic inside here. It doesn't matter when if I got these this um, latex underneath here. It comes off, doesn't doesn't damage anything. But I don't want it in there, of course. So I'm gonna put my plastic. This is just from a vinyl from a cricket. If you if we have a cricket, oh finding more, but wait, there's more. What is that? Don't tell me that's starting to crack as well underneath there. Let's hope not. But if it does. I can always resin that as well. Okay, here we go. Now I'm ready for you. There we go. So, while that's drying and waiting for me, I might just... See if I need to fix this, level it out. Oh, it's perfect that way. What about this way? That needs to be lifted a little bit. It's because I popped the paper in, the plastic in. Not to worry, I can fix that. Lucky I have my board here and I can just pop this right underneath my board. If I can lift it up, be great. Come on. There we go. Oh, almost perfect. Can you see? Need something a little bit thinner. Okay, that is perfect. Now let's see if it affected this side. Oh, it did a little bit. Okay, so it looks like I'm going to have to do the same over here. Table is set... Oh, look at that. Perfect. Perfect. Almost perfect. And perfect. Oh, yes. One thing. You always got to have it level. So I shouldn't move that, but I can move my camera. Okay. I uh, shall be back in a couple of minutes. Let this um, masking liquid uh, dry up properly so that I can put the tape over it. Now while that's drying I'm mixing up my resin. The resin that I'm using today is a platinum uh, art coat resin and the reason why it's because it's a thicker resin and I don't want this to run all over the place. Um, plus it's a nice flexible resin so it'll be, it'll be great for something like this. I will though Heat it up a little bit to loosen it down a bit. So that relaxes it. And normally I wouldn't be mixing over my piece, but because this is going to be covered only with resin anyway it's going to be fine so I'm going to be mixing this for about another couple of minutes and then let it sit while I'm taping and allow this uh, for the bubbles to rise up the top because I am mixing it quite well I want it I want it um, well mixed so can't really see anything there's too many bubbles to see anything but Good thing about this resin is it's uh, self-gassing, so it's going to self-gas. So there'll be no, no bubbles in there, but I will let it rest for a bit. Just checking to make sure that that needs another couple of minutes to dry. So while I was waiting, I decided to sort of uh, liven up this piece a little bit, because now that the 
that um, varnish is off I've noticed some of the areas like this area here was very light uh, it's almost like somebody somebody had um, put in a hot cup of coffee or something like that on there it just looked odd and uh, I thought oh if I want to do a good job of this and put the cover it with resin it's it's you know it's not going to hide that so I decided to match the color with my tints so I've got uh, my uh, deep amber and my burnt toffee and it makes a perfect color and I will go around and just, so this is just a tint so it'll stain it and then I'll go around and pick it all up and kind of wipe it so it's nice and soft in color I mean so just a paper towel I just want to see see that's picking it up nicely it's still sort of showing that aged uh, character that it already had but it just I think I don't know what if you can see up there so this area here and here was like really light so I might I might um, go over it with a heat gun just to dry it up a bit more see that you can actually see it there but I'm trying not to I want to make it nice and subtle you know that's what we want nice and subtle just go around and wipe these what does it look like from up there Okay, so a little bit of heat gun, just a little bit on low. As it's as it's drying, I'm really tongue tied today, aren't I? And um, you can actually see those pop up. I don't know if you can see it up there. So I'm going to go in with a little bit more. I, I diluted these, just so you know. They are diluted with just water. Because otherwise it's just too strong and I didn't want to take that chance. Probably would have been okay. But I'd rather do it a few times and do it right than do it once and, and sort of wreck it. So I'm just going to keep going like this. A little bit more here. I don't want to take away all of that goodness. And I hope I don't get in trouble for doing this. You can still see see the aged lines underneath there. I just, you know, thought I'd hide that, that spot that was there. I didn't even see it until... You know, I started really focusing on it. So let it sit, let it dry, and then oh, actually, while that's drying, I might just go around with the tape. Where is my, oh, here it is, right in front of me. So, with the tape, I'm going to go piece. Usually, I just go around, 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 but I'm going to go piece by piece with this one because I'm worried about because this thing's moving around and I'm worried about. Um, wrecking that the um, the masking liquid so I'm just going to go in like that that's great always pinch it a little bit in the corner just so it it helps that little corner that always sort of open a little bit same on the other side. My hand's going to be in the way now, I'm sorry. But I leveled everything. I might have to level it again, just check it to be sure, to be sure. And 
Put our paste in there. So now I'm just going to go around and make sure to pull the edges, make sure that that doesn't leak. But even if it does, I still have that mask, the masking liquid underneath, which should protect this. This is just double precaution. If it was mine, my thing that I'm doing, I'd probably only put the tape or the masking liquid, but I'm being very careful. So that's still drying, let it dry, and I'll be back. Okay, finally, finally, it has happened to me. Anyway, um, this is the fun part and the most scary part because you never know what's going to happen. Everything is nice and dry and clean, which is important. Um, and you're not going to believe it, in the corner here, as the light was hitting it, I could see one bit of um, varnish that I missed, so I had to chip that out. Okay, let's go. Oh, God, please. So, let's see how we go. I'm going very slowly, and I'm going to let it spread a little bit by itself. First... And you can tell if your board's leveled because it's spreading nicely, nice and slow. So you can still see that aged look underneath there. I didn't cover the whole thing. If they want me to, to do it again, I can do it. Just paint, paint it. You know, I could take months on this, but like I said, it's not mine. I've got to do what I was asked to do. I just hope that the heat of the resin, because as it cures, it heats up, doesn't affect any of these. It shouldn't. Okay, so that's looking great. Let's go some more. Back in the middle. Just want to get it to move that way now. got my silicone um, brush here which I'm going to use just gonna wipe it first because you never know what's on it so now I'm just going to gently move it I mean I could have flooded the whole thing but where's the fun in that so I'm trying to not get it to try to leak down the edges because that's going to give me grief that's it self label leveling it'll level itself and see there's hardly any bubbles at all I can see two there which I will sort out in a second I just want it to go and do its thing nicely I do need to use a, a, a torch for bubbles couple of more bubbles there it's fine 
it's not the best time to do this because it's a bit cold temperature is not right for resin but I've got the heater on set on 25 degrees Celsius so okay I'm just gonna bring it all the way up to the edge and once this starts to, to set and become kind of tacky then I will take off the, the tape and let it relax over the edge <coughs> but that's it for now just gonna let it sit I've got a, a clean plastic box that I'm gonna put over it to stop anything from falling in and ruining my hard work just gotta make sure it's gone all the way up to the edge and the corner that's that's plenty I don't need more than that in fact that's probably even too much resin finds a way it finds every little crack so just making sure that I'm good here I am everything's covered that needs to be covered all right that is good I do want to go around and maybe even use this just to make sure that this is extra tight oh. oh I nearly put my fingers in there it's difficult this one because it opens up it's not gonna matter I will like I said release it when the time comes all right so every now and then I'm gonna come in here and do this get rid of the bubbles wow that's looking great so now I have my just a regular container And I will wipe it over again just to make sure there's no dust or anything in there that could pop in. That would be a disaster. I'm making sure that's all nice and clean. Okay. And then this fella make sure it's high enough it comes and sits on top like that okay it's gonna stop anything from popping in so anyway <laughs> thanks for watching and your patience and I'll see you um, a little bit later when well probably tomorrow but in a second for you when you actually get to see how I take the tape off and then the finished product bye for now Okay, so here we are a few hours later. This uh, is about eight times the speed. So you can imagine how slowly I'm actually pulling this tape off. And the tape is actually uh, taking off the, the liquid, uh, the masking liquid as well with it, which is the whole idea why I did it that way. And now just going around and just tidying up, just, yeah, with a bit of torching and just picking out some things that are not meant to be in there. And just uh, going around with my alcohol wipe and just tidying up the edges. Here we are. It's the next day. She is looking beautiful. The edges are lovely. 
See how nicely that falls over and then it just stays like that. It's gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So that is it, my beautiful box. I'm going to take some, well, it's not my beautiful box, but a beautiful box. But, um, yeah, I'm going to take some photos and and uh, pop them on so you can see. Look at that, how nice, what a beautiful thing this is. Thank you all for watching, and I'll see you again in another video. Bye.